all right and we are back we are back at the bridge i jumped off this bridge last year one time but i thought let's do another english lesson from here but maybe i jump off the bridge a couple times or a few times we'll talk about those terms and so much more in this english lesson but this is an english teacher challenge so I cannot stop this lesson for any reason. Somebody could show up at this bridge, English phrasal verb, just maybe they arrive here. I'll have to keep filming. Uh, maybe uh, uh, I have to dodge some cars that go on this bridge, dodge. That means like not get hit by them. We have a game in the United States called dodgeball. Some schools play it, some schools don't anymore, but the object of the game is to hit the other players with a ball. Yeah, it's called dodgeball. All right, let me hop over this guardrail. Yeah, that's a guardrail. Oh, it's hot, ow, it's hot. Yeah, so cars are gonna go by. Ooh. Cars might hit each other on here. People drive a little too quickly probably. But yeah, so I just need to te keep talking. Teach a good English lesson so you learn English and jump off this bridge three times. Oh, I was talking about guardrail. That is a guardrail because you don't want cars falling off On, uh, into the water make sure the sun's okay you don't want cars falling off the bridge into the water so the sun is behind me sorry it is kind of early morning here all right i need to get out into the middle of the bridge because there are rocks on the side so i don't want to hit any rocks on the way down let me get in the middle here How do you like my orange bathing suit? Yeah, so last year I jumped off this bridge a few times before I filmed the lesson. Uh, this is the first time this summer I've jumped off this bridge, so I'm a little nervous. And I don't know how cold the water is going to be. <sighs> so why don't I, uh, why don't, it's beautiful here though. So why don't I uh, quit stalling? If you stall, that means you are trying not to do something. Right now I'm stalling. I, I haven't jumped off the bridge this summer. So I kind of, I have kind of forgotten what it feels like. So we'll, we'll figure it out together. And um, I can take this camera in the water. I'll have to, to shake it a couple times because the water might get in the microphone and uh it's no it's not a good english lesson if you can't hear the teacher talking all right this is about 30 feet down there so oh here comes a car uh it's about 30 feet down there so not bad like i said i've done this before but let's jump off this bridge at least a couple times if uh we're talking a couple that means two. Ooh, big truck. We would call that an oil truck. An oil truck sometimes comes to my house to deliver oil. Ooh. And the bridge was shaking a little bit as that truck rumbled across the bridge. Do you know that verb? Rumbled? Rumbled. Thunder rumbles. That truck rumbled over the bridge. All right, here we go enough stalling because we're going to do this at least uh three times how about that and hopefully you're going to learn some great english a native english speaker hopefully speaking in a way you can understand to build up that english comprehension oh i don't want to do this i'm a little nervous now all right here we go first one of the summer first one of the day all right, let's do it. Hopefully I don't lose uh, my camera here. All right, oh, 
nervous i'm not lying i'm nervous i'm nervous just because i haven't done it in so long all right i'm rambling now when you ramble it means you're actually probably talking about nothing and that doesn't make for a good english lesson <sighs> all right i can't stop the video either so i have to just go all right hopefully i'll hold it out here so you can see yeah i need to film and jump at the same time this is crazy all right oh and the water is kind of murky if the water is murky it means you can't see through it murky oh man why do i do these stupid things hey have you seen the video i did on an inner tube i'll put a link to that video at the end here uh all right come on you can do this this is what you signed up for right teaching crazy english lessons cars just keep going by okay the longer i wait too the more likely it will be that other people will show up and they'll be like why is that guy talking to his camera actually i bet all of the people that are driving by are wondering why is that guy talking to his camera okay this first jump i will let you see what it looks like to jump off this and maybe the next one I'll, I'll put it on my face and we can get a, a thumbnail or something. All right, here we go. Oh my gosh. I'm not even kidding. I'm, I'm a little nervous. All right. Oh, here we go. Three, two, one, jump. I gotta do it. I gotta do it. Three. Oh. All right, here we go. Oh. <laughs> Why? It's not bad. I've done it so many times. Oh, and it's getting windy. Oh, maybe I can't jump. It's too windy. All right, we definitely can't jump on that other side. The water is too shallow. Shallow. It's not deep. This water is deep. I will not touch the bottom here. All right, the first one is going to be the toughest, right? And I am wearing shoes. I'm wearing dad shoes because jumping from this high, it could hurt your feet if you are barefoot barefoot means you have no shoes and then i need to crawl up those rocks and that kind of hurts too all right so the first one you're going to see you're going to see what it looks like to jump off this bridge all right here we go uh, just gotta do it like a band-aid we say that in english without even thinking about it you just do it and that means you like when you have a band-aid on your skin you can see my skin has some hair on it this is a a hairy shoulder if you put a band-aid on your skin and you peel it off slowly it will hurt i just need to jump off this bridge like a band-aid right just don't even think about it i've thought about it too long that's the problem all right but we'll jump off this uh bridge Three times, how about that? Three times, at least two. Big dump truck just went by. All right, man, why am I so nervous? This is not that bad, I've done this before. Hey, let me know in the comments, would you jump off this bridge? All right, let's do it, I gotta do it, right? All right. We did it, well, we jumped off. Now we need to swim across to the other side here. Oh, hopefully no fish are going to nibble at my feet. Nibble, that means take small bites. Actually, they can't get to my feet. I'm wearing shoes, but maybe my legs. I don't know if there are any fish here or not. All right, let's do this. And the water is a little oily. Yeah, it's, uh, if you think about the stuff, oh, there's the bottom. All right, I'm standing up. If you think about the stuff you put in your car, gas, but the oil, that goes in the engine. Maybe I'll have to do an English lesson on car parts. But oil, it's a little slick, it's a little shiny, and this water feels a little oily i hope that makes sense this is what it looks like under the bridge 
it is beautiful. I am not going to lie. So now there's some graffiti up here. Oh yeah, these rocks are slippery. I could slip and fall. I hope I won't. This is gonna be a little tricky. I don't wanna lose my balance. Wow, these are slip, slippery. All right, I got my balance. If I fell over, I could say I lost my balance. And it's hard to climb up these rocks with one hand. Just like that episode I filmed, the English lesson on a tube, it's hard to do everything one-handed. All right, let's climb up these rocks one-handed. Dad shoes, dad shoes doing the trick. I don't mind the graffiti that much. But you know what I don't like is the trash. That's too bad. Oh. Next time I come here, I'll bring a trash bag and some gloves and I'll pick up this trash. Whew, fast car went by. All right, here we go. These rocks are so big. We might say that they are boulders. All right, almost there. All right, how's the microphone? All right, get rid of all the water. Hopefully you could hear me swimming across. Across, ends with an S, not a T. Swimming across to the other side. All right, hopping over the guardrail that is hot but now that my bathing suit is wet it's not that hot did you hear that english phrasal verb hop over i also could say that i uh climbed over oh the dad shoes are now heavy because they are filled with water but guess what i got new dad shoes so the next time you see a lesson, let me tighten this camera up so it doesn't fall again. Um, the next time you see a lesson and I show you my shoes, you might see new dad shoes. They are gray. That's the color I usually wear, gray. These were blue. I had to get blue because, because of the uh, you know C19 thing. All of the shops in the United States that made these shoes, they were closed down. So, and they are made in the US. All right, let me get into the middle. Whew. All right, this one won't be as bad because we already did it. All right, here we go. You ready? Ooh. It looked like somebody was fishing on the other side. Not sure if you can tell, but there is a bobber caught up in the telephone wires. Yeah, caught up. Did I have to say up? No. I could have said there is a bobber caught in the telephone lines or the telephone wires. But I said up. Caught up because uh, native English speakers love to make English phrasal verbs with up. For some reason. I don't know why we say it. All right, can I think of one? All right, I can't get held up from jumping off this bridge. If you get held up, that means there is something interrupting you. So maybe somebody gets held up at work. They wanted to get home at 5 p.m., but they got held up. Maybe they had some other things they had to do, so they were a little late in leaving. If you get held up at work, you might get held up for 30 minutes. So you have to leave at 5.30 instead of five. All right, all right, here we go. How many times? Three times? Are you still watching? Thanks for watching. If you're still watching and you like this lesson, uh, please don't forget to hit like. All right, let's do it. Another one. All right, I'm gonna film here and then um, we're gonna jump. All right, I need to make sure I hit the landing though, because. Okay, I need to concentrate on not hurting myself on the way down, but I also want to 
do something funny for the camera. Probably can't do that. Too much thinking. All right, here we go. Ooh. Cool, that one oh, wasn't as smooth. Oh, let's make it to the side here. Yeah, uh, <coughs> that one I hit a little hard. Oh, I was trying to look at the camera too much. And I got some water up my nose. <coughs> That's what we say. Um, you probably know the feeling. You know, you might not know what to call it in English, but when you jump into a pool or a lake or the ocean, you might get water up your nose and it doesn't feel great. All right, slippery, slippery rocks again. Ooh. All right, I found the bottom, the bottom of the river. This is a river, by the way, not a lake. I filmed another loud car. I'm not sure if you heard that. I filmed the, um, oh, I thought there was a tadpole. Aw. Oh, fish. All right, did you see that fish in there? I hope he's all right. Um, but that tadpole was definitely uh, no longer with us. He, uh, he passed away, that tadpole. All right, let me get up these rocks and I'll talk about what tadpole is. All right, uh, tadpole. I'll put a picture up of what a tadpole is, but there was one floating in the water and he, he didn't look so good. Uh, but a tadpole is like a baby frog. No, it's before it becomes a baby. I'm not a science teacher, but hopefully that picture, you'll see that, you'll know what it is in your own language. You're like, oh, okay, I know what that is. All right, let's climb up these boulders Whew, without falling. All right, so we've jumped off that bridge a couple times. When a native, heard somebody talking over there. When a native English speaker says couple, that means two. Single, I jumped off the bridge a single time or I jumped off the bridge once. Of course, that means once. But if you ever hear a speaker say a few times, it really means more than two. A few, might be three or four. Whew, I'm a little out of breath too jumping and swimming and climbing up. I'm an old man. Let's climb over this uh, guardrail again. All right, I'm having fun teaching English here. I hope you're still with the video. It looks like it's going to be a long one, but I hope you're learning a lot more English and you're understanding more of uh, your English listening comprehension. I hope this is helping. Uh, and I'm, I'm speaking a little bit more slowly, a little bit. Whew. Car is flying. That means they're going very fast. That car is flying. Ooh. Loud car there too. Uh, I also wanted to mention it's a scorcher today. It's another way to say it's really hot. A scorcher. Oh. All right, one more time, shall we? Shall we do it? <sighs> All right. Whew. One more time. You've seen this twice already. So, oh, school bus. <clears throat> A school bus just went by. And a motorcycle is going by now. Motorcycle, look at all this English. Regular car. All this English vocabulary, vocabulary you're learning. Not easy to say. Ooh. All right, back to the middle of the bridge. But it is a beautiful day. I know that learning English is hard. 
uh, but hopefully you're having fun doing it. Um, not everything you learn is going to be fun, but if you can try to get in as much fun as possible, I love teaching these lessons, having fun doing that, and hopefully it's helping you learn a little bit of English there. Another, another motorcycle. Okay, jump off one more time. Uh-oh, big truck coming by again. I wonder if the bridge is going to shake a little bit. Yeah, I did. Yeah, it shook a little bit. All right, right in the middle of the bridge, jumping off. But like I was saying, I hope uh, you're having fun learning English. It's hard. It takes a long time. It's not easy. It doesn't happen quickly. All right, let's do it one more time. I'll try not to get water up my nose. Ugh. Why am I nervous now? I've already done this. Hang on. In a minute, there's going to be a truck that passes by and it is towing a trailer. If you saw the lesson I did on an inner tube, I talked about the boat towing me on the inner tube. So that trailer just towed, no, sorry, the truck towed the trailer. That's a tree truck, I think. Yeah, it looks like they are going to be cutting down some trees. All right, let's do this. Oh, one more time. What can go wrong, right? Three times. I said it at the beginning of the video. We're jumping off three times. Here we go. Three times. Just waiting for the cars to pass for some reason. I don't, I don't know why. All right, they don't, they're not waiting on me. I shouldn't wait on them. Oh, another English phrasal verb. If somebody wanted to jump right where I was and I was stalling, they would be waiting on me. Hey, I'm waiting on you to jump so I can jump. All right, here we go. Jumping, jumping. Three, two, one. Let's do it. I'm gonna point the camera at the water so I can concentrate on landing in the water safely and not get water up my nose all right let's do it feels like feels like each time i go further down i still haven't touched the bottom yet though all right Whew. i'm gonna climb over here but uh i hope you've enjoyed this lesson if you're looking for a bunch of crazy lessons right up there i did a bunch of uh, english teacher challenges all right thanks for watching this whole time see ya